Welcome to the Book Fox Summaries, where we dive into the heart of literature with quick and insightful book summaries. We're your reliable source for literary discussions, condensing thick, voluminous novels into digestible nuggets of wisdom. Today we're exploring Kristen Hanna's number one New York Times bestseller, The Women. This book is not just another title in the world of literature. It stands tall as a beacon of narrative excellence, a testament to Hannah's prowess as a storyteller. Its central theme of courage and friendship is a magnetic pull for readers worldwide, making it a universally acclaimed masterpiece. We aim to dissect this epic tale for you today. You'll get to understand the depth of Hannah's writing, the layers of her characters, and the subtleties of her plot. We'll shed light on the intricate details that make the women a must-read. We will be your guide and journey, unraveling the mysteries of the women and aiding you in understanding the essence of this masterpiece. So get ready, literary enthusiasts. This is a unique opportunity to delve deeper into the world of literature, to understand its magic, and to appreciate the art of storytelling. If you're ready for an epic tale of courage and friendship, keep watching. Stay with us till the end and let us know if we help you in the decision to read or even to buy this literature gem. The Women is not just a novel, it's an enticing expedition into the heart of the 1960s, a vivid and pulsating era of profound transformation and riveting conflict. The story is set against the backdrop of a world undergoing seismic shifts in political, cultural, and societal norms. As we turn the pages, we find ourselves treading on the turbulent timeline of the Vietnam War, a period that continues to resonate with the echoes of its deafening battles and silent cries. Our protagonist, Francis Frankie McGrath, enters the narrative as a sign of a new dawn, embodying the aspirations and anxieties of her generation. Born and raised in the comforting cradle of a small town, with a conservative family, she is a woman of courage and conviction, bound by a sense of duty towards her country. Frankie, with her intellect and compassionate heart, is a reflection of the changing role of women during this tumultuous time. She's about to embark on an unforeseen journey, a journey that will take her far from the familiarity of her small town life and into the heart of the raging storm that is the Vietnam War. As the story unfolds, we witness her transformation from a young woman to a brave soldier, from a spectator to a participant in one of the most controversial wars in history. The Women is not just a story of war, it's a testament to the strength and resilience of women like Frankie, who dared to step outside the confines of societal expectations and embrace the chaos. Raised in Southern California, Frankie's life is turned upside down when she, a sun-drenched youth, makes a pivotal decision to join the ranks of the Army Nurse Corps. She is driven by a compelling urge to help, to serve, and to bridge the path her older brother had laid down creating a legacy of service that weaves through her family's story like a golden thread. Her decision is not a simple one. Her journey to Vietnam, a world away from her California home, is filled with the echoes of her brother's tales of courage and resilience. She is caught in a whirlwind of change, her life a stark contrast to the idyllic landscape she left behind. From the azure beaches of Santa Monica to the humid jungles of Vietnam, her life is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit. Once in Vietnam, she encounters the raw realities of war, a stark contradiction to the peaceful suburban life she once knew. She's thrust into a world where pain, suffering, and courage form a poignant backdrop to her budding nursing career. As she navigates through her new reality, she forms deep bonds with her fellow nurses, creating a network of support and sisterhood in a landscape punctuated by the echoes of artillery and the cries of the wounded. These relationships are the lifelines that keep her grounded amidst the chaos, reminding her of her purpose, her strength, and her capacity to make a difference. Through Frankie's eyes we embark on an incredible journey that explores the unbreakable spirit of women who served during the most challenging periods of our history. This narrative encapsulates a world often untouched by the common man, it dives into the heart of an experience that shaped lives and molded an era. The novel unravels an intimate portrayal of deep friendships that transcends the bounds of time, geography, and circumstance. 
It delves into the complexities of their relationships, their shared dreams, their fears, and their undying loyalty toward each other. It paints a vivid picture of companionship that was neither hindered by the horrors of war nor the uncertainties that came with it. Furthermore, the novel explores bold patriotism, not just as a sentiment, but as a way of life. It encapsulates the spirit of a time when the love for one's country was the driving force behind every action. It highlights the selflessness that propelled these women to face daunting challenges head on. Moreover, the book gives insight into the sacrifices made by these brave women. It takes us through the heart-wrenching journey of their personal losses, their struggles against adversities, and their triumphant victories. It is a testament to their grit, their resilience, and their heroic commitment to their duties. The novel beautifully captures the essence of deep friendships, bold patriotism, and the sacrifices made by these brave women. Kristen Hanna's storytelling brings to life the emotional roller coaster of war. Each detail, each sentence is delicately crafted to immerse you into a world filled with uncertainty, bravery, and sacrifice. She masterfully weaves a narrative that doesn't just tell a story, but transports you to the turbulent times of conflict. The novel opens with a cinematic view of life before the war, enveloping the reader in a comforting blanket of peace, only to then gradually introduce the impending doom. The lucky escapes, filled with suspense and thrill, are finely described, leaving you at the edge of your seat, breathless. Each escape feels like a small victory, a glimmer of hope in the bleak darkness of war. On the other hand, the heartbreaking losses are illustrated with such raw emotion that you can't help but feel a lump in your throat. The pain, the despair, the remorse, they're all palpable, echoing through the words. You feel the weight of every loss, the vacuum left behind. The Women is more than a book. It's an homage, a tribute to the countless heroines whose stories are often left untold. It gives voice to those who were silenced, marginalized, and forgotten. It brings to the forefront the resilience and strength of women who fought their own battles, often behind closed doors. It sheds light on their courage, their sacrifices, and most importantly, their undying hope. In essence, The Women is a tribute to the heroines whose stories are often left untold. As we follow Frankie's return to a divided America, we plunge into the heart of her battle. She is a woman caught in the crossfire of public opinion and personal trauma, a soldier returning to a homeland that no longer feels like home. As her surrounding society strives to erase the memory of a brutal, controversial war, Frankie finds herself grappling with its lingering echoes. She is a symbol, a poignant representation of the many who donned uniforms and carried guns, only to be greeted by the harsh reality of a country keen to sweep the past under the rug. Her struggle is an emblematic showcase of the all-too-common phenomenon of the nation's collective amnesia about its own history, particularly when it comes to the grueling aspects of warfare. In this narrative, we see her raw emotions, her internal conflicts, and her desperate attempts to find meaning amidst her reality. She is a walking testament to the aftermath of war, a mirror reflecting society's struggle to reconcile with the ghosts of its past. As we delve deeper into her life, we get a unique, unfiltered perspective on the tumultuous era that shaped not just her, but millions of others. It's a powerful reminder of the ongoing battles faced by veterans. The Women is more than a novel. It is an epic saga that unravels over the course of its absorbing pages, a tale that is woven with utmost care, intricate details, and a depth of emotion that resonates within you long after you've turned the last page. It is a beautifully crafted narrative that delves into the heart of womanhood, illuminating the strength, the resilience, and the fierce spirit that women possess. Kristen Hanna, the acclaimed author, has proven her prowess yet again with this deeply moving and gripping tale. Her literary craftsmanship shines throughout the book as she skillfully portrays the trials and triumphs of her characters, drawing the reader into their world, making us laugh, cry, and cheer with them. Hannah's writing is sensitive and poignant, making us reflect on the significance of their struggles and their victories. The Women is a testament to the indomitable spirit of women across ages and cultures, a testament to their bravery, their sacrifice, and their unwavering hope. Kristen Hannah has once again delivered a masterpiece that defines an era.
If you've been moved by the women, hit the like button and share this enlightening video. A simple click helps our channel grow, delivering quality content for book lovers. Any sharing helps us reach more readers. We dive into the story depths, providing easy to digest summaries. By subscribing, you join a community of bibliophiles. Engage with our content, join the conversation, and let's weave a world of stories. Until next time, keep reading and exploring the stories that shape our world.